What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Monty, and it is five minutes of God review time. Although, this is not going to be a review. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos on cigar etiquette, cigar shop etiquette, and I wanted to weigh in on the subject because this is something that's kind of close and dear to my heart. By the way, I'm smoking a Hamlet by Rocky Patel. As you guys remember, or may, may or may not know, or may or may not remember, I'm not a huge Rocky Patel fan, but I do like the Hamlet. Hamlet is good. Anyway, so cigar and cigar shop etiquette. Now, I combine the two because you can smoke cigars with friends and not be in a cigar shop or lounge, and there's still some etiquette that you should follow. First and foremost on my list, excuse me, because you probably shouldn't burp in the camera, but first and foremost on my list, is don't lick your cigar or put it in your mouth or get any of your bodily fluids on it and then use your friend or the shop cutter. That's just nasty. What makes you think I want your spit on my cutter? And for that same reason, because I am a guy who will sometimes put it in my mouth before I cut it, but I use my own cutter so for your safety or for your peace of mind, don't ask to use my cutter. I will probably tell you no, but I'll tell you why so that you know you don't think I'm just being a dick. No, don't use my cutter because I often put my cigars in my mouth before I cut them. That's just me. But I will never do that and then ask to use your cutter or use the shop cutter. Um, don't. I had to write a list down here. Don't feel up the cigars. Like when you go to a cigar store, and you're shopping for a cigar and you go through, it's okay to handle them a little bit. You know, you get it, you pick it up, maybe give it a little squeeze, but don't feel all over them and squeeze them because, you know, remember, this is a dead leaf. You squeeze it too much, you start getting cracks and, and it breaks and stuff like that. Plus, I don't want your, if you don't buy that cigar and I end up buying it later, I don't want your hands all over my cigar. This cigar has already been handled by hundreds of people during the process of making it. I don't need your extra hands on there because at least I'm hoping that they had clean hands or at least cigar hands. I don't know if you just got through picking your nose and you just going around picking up, picking up cigars. You'll see that some of my etiquette stuff has to do with cleanliness. Um, don't put your nose on a cigar that's not yours. In other words, again, those you see those people going to cigar shops, going there shopping to get a cigar and start sniffing and all that stuff. Do that after you buy it, okay? Because, again, I don't know you. The rest of the people may not know you. And they don't want your boogers or booger flakes on the cigar that they buy because you put it down after you done sniffed it. And I've actually seen people grab a cigar, sniff it, put that one down, then grab the other cigar. Basically, like, I don't want the cigar after I put my nose on it either. That's just nasty. Uh, this is in particular for cigar shops, um, lounges, when you're hanging around. Don't be that guy who tries to tell somebody else how to pick, how to cut, how to light, how to smoke a cigar, unless they ask you. Because I may light my cigar or cut my cigar different than you, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm doing it wrong. That's my style. You do you and I'm gonna do me. I don't care if you bite off the end of the cigar. If that's your cigar and you wanna do it that way, fine. If you're the kind of guy who, after every two puffs, is trying to ash it, do you, baby. But don't try to tell me how to do me, okay? Don't be a snob. Don't be a know-it-all. Don't be the guy who is the expert on all things cigar. Again, now, if I come to you and I know that you've been around for years, you're 80-some years old, you've been smoking cigars since you was four, and I come to you and say, hey, give me a little knowledge on cigars. That's one thing. But without me soliciting that, I don't want to hear your stuff. And... My guess, I don't want to speak for everybody, but the majority of people don't want to hear your snobbery or your know it all itness. Know it all itness. That's a new word I just made up. You can use that. This is for the newbies. When you're new to a shop. Now, if you're a guest, let's say that you're in town for a minute and you go into a cigar shop, because that's what I do. When I travel, I always try to find a brand new cigar store that I've never been to. And hang out there all right um, in that case you know you kind of you got to kind of feel your way around the shop see how things are going 
You find the... Because there's always going to be regulars, you know what I mean? And, but even then, don't insert yourself. Sit down, smoke a cigar, listen to the conversation, see how it ebbs and flows, see how it goes, and then kind of ease your way into it, all right? Or oftentimes, if you're sitting there long enough, you know, people will invite you into it. But if you're the new guy, especially if this is a place that you plan on coming a lot, definitely then, don't just insert yourself into a conversation, because a lot of people uh, get annoyed by that. They don't know you yet, you don't know them, you, you haven't found out your personalities yet, and you're going to be a regular here now, grow into it. Take it slow. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean you got to sit off by yourself in the corner, but take it slow. Don't just automatically insert yourself into conversations when they're not talking to you. And on the other side of that, if you're a regular at the shop and some new guy comes in, don't be a dick. You know, you see the guy sitting there or the girl, you know, it's not all only men smoke cigars. There's, there's plenty of women, plenty of fine women too. But you see that new person there, although, side note, I have noticed that when a fine woman comes into a shop, she doesn't have a hard time getting into conversations. Just saying. But, so the new guy comes in, you're a regular there, don't treat that person like crap. Be nice. Again, take it slow, let them kind of get a feel for things, but invite that person over, talk to them. Oh, here's one that I don't like. I don't care if you're a newbie or a regular. I go to plenty of cigar shops and people on their phones. Hey, whatever. But don't talk loud on the phone in a cigar shop. That's just rude. I hate the guy who's on the phone. Hey, yeah, buddy. Uh, I just closed this new deal on this uh, oil refinery. But don't nobody care about that, man. Just calm down. Hey, you know, I'm in the cigar shop. Uh, I'll have to call you later. You, you know, you know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying. All right. Let's see. Moving on. Especially if you're a regular. And you bring some alcohol, a bottle of wine, a bottle of bourbon, scotch, whatever your preferred drink is. Understand that you're in a cigar shop for one. I'm not saying you have to, but it's polite to offer the drinks, at least to the people you know. I don't expect people, if I go into a shop and I've never been there before, some guy brings in a, sh a bottle of something, he's a regular, I don't expect him to offer me a drink. But definitely if I'm in the shop that I go to and people bring in drinks, I always offer, and it's not so much I expect it, but I think it's nice and polite to offer drinks to those that you know, the other regulars there. When somebody gives you a good cigar, especially a celebratory cigar, you know, hey, guy just had a baby, uh, just got a promotion, uh, she just uh, won the Powerball, whatever the case may be, they're excited, they're, they want to celebrate, and they're offering good cigars, give you that Padron, that Ashton, whatever your, 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 your flavor is. Smoke that son of a gun. You may not have to smoke it right this second, because maybe I'm, I just lit this cigar up when you came on. But you should probably smoke that cigar next. Show that person that you appreciate that they thought of you in their celebratory mood and gave you a cigar. Smoke that cigar. And if you can't smoke it right then and there, this is what I do. Hey, man, I appreciate the cigar. I'm going to finish this up. But the next time you're here, you and I, we're going to smoke this together. Or, you know, I'm going to smoke this and with next to you. You know what I mean. I don't share cigars. Which brings up uh, I didn't put this on the list. I've only seen this maybe once or twice. Don't ask somebody to taste their cigar. Once again, that's nasty. I don't put my lips on a cigar that somebody else's lips have been on except maybe my wife. And that's even questionable. Don't only take. This is mainly for the cigar shop regulars. Um cigar shop I go to, there are a few of you. If you happen to watch this video, you may or may not know who you are. But there are a few of you. People are always bringing stuff in. Food, cookies, donuts, booze, whatever. And you're the first one up there to grab you a little bit of that. But I've never seen you bring anything in to share with everybody else. Don't be that guy or girl. So when people bring food in and you take, sometimes you should bring something in and share with your friends. And last but not least, and this should cover pretty much everything when you think about it, respect. This little rolled up leaf really brings in camaraderie, communi community, 
You know what I mean? People come to cigar shops and lounges, and they hang out. You meet new people. You talk about stuff from from I mean across the gamut. You talk about sex, love, lies, videotapes, sports, polit politics. That's kind of the lies and videotapes, um, and a bunch of other stuff. And you have a good time, but always, always, always be respectful. Even if I disagree with you, I'm not going to disrespect you. So there you have it. Those are my cigar and cigar lounge or cigar shop etiquette rules, regulations, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. And please, please, please leave me your comments. Let me know how you think I'm doing. Um, I got more stuff coming up. I'm almost finished with videos that I taped like last year or uh, almost a year ago. So I'll be doing a lot more new stuff. Keep, uh, keep up with me. And hopefully you enjoy everything. I'm kind of stuttering and stammering now trying to think of a close. So I'm just going to close. Peace out.